Now this, this is 90s. Bro, I can't see what's going on. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Oh, I see. So that's how they were. Okay, so this is, uh, we're gonna watch some, we're gonna watch some tapes. I'm here with my good, my good friend, best friend, one might say, Noah. Uh, uh, watch it, watch it. That's him. He's my best friend. Um, known him since, we're watching tapes. We're watching tapes. Okay. <laughs> so, first up is DKC Exposed, the making of Donkey Kong Country. Donkey Kong got exposed. We're gonna learn, we're gonna learn why. We're gonna cancel him. We're going to cancel Donkey Kong, and mm -hmm. let's just see what he's all about. Now, have you seen this Warfare. before? Uh, No, except for like when you mentioned it to me. I watched okay. like the first little bit of it. Okay. I've seen this before, I must admit. Whoa, and it blows your mind. It's, it's all iconic. shady and stuff. It's really yeah. well shaded. Everything looks so I like so how they put a bunch of bananas in the really gonna think middle. That it's a game that's a yeah. generation ahead of its time. Yeah, yeah. brilliant last second timing stuff in there where you have to jump real quick yeah. oh yeah a bunch of bananas of i didn't see that surprised at the kind of i don't know it this doesn't feel very genuine <laughs> now this this is 90s <laughs> this reminds me of a song but i can't remember i mean i guess it's supposed to but this is the soundtrack to donkey kong country is it <laughs> i haven't actually played it and this isn't i love Oh, wow. I played a little bit of it. Um, I don't know how far I got. I got, I got at least a couple Here we are today in. on our way to Redmond, Washington to take an exclusive insider's Now, who, who is this person who's actually interviewing game, the, uh... Donkey Kong Country. Is this guy on screen right now? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's Donkey Kong. Guys, we they just passed Donkey Kong. America, the yeah. fortress. Let's find out what Donkey Kong Country's all about. Let's go inside. Let's, Let's go inside. Banana peels on the... Hey, it's Ken. Ken Lobb, development manager. Hey, man, how's it going? Donkey Kong Country. Imagine being, some, imagine this, yeah. being some guy working yeah, on the, this game, like and then this goober comes in. So, Ken, yeah, I, mean, I, I just want to work on the game. Uh, no I feel like that's what like Can a lot of video game creators looked like back then. You know, they were just a bunch of like dorky computer nerds, but I feel... Mustache. Can't forget the mustache. What do you think? And just like, look how small this office is. It's cute. Like they got like what, maybe like ten cubicles of people probably working on this game. What's the password? Yeah. Probably more. Diddy. Nope. Password. Diddy. Yeah. Password is Diddy. Diddy. Oh. <laughs> I would be very embarrassed. You know, after about a thousand Diddies, we finally get okay, a Okay, you just gotta walk up to the door and say, "What's the password?" Hello to Tony Harmon. He is the product development manager here at Nintendo. Tony, he kind of reminds me of Nard. He kind of reminds me of like a. Thank you very much. And I, I don't, don't know, know, like a New Jersey Nard one. I, I thought you were gonna say. uh here to talk about the story. Jay, I'm from Jay and Silent Bob. With that's this is Dan. Oh, Dan. Different hair. How are you? Pretty good. Good, Dan. I want to know something about this story. This filter, man. Basically, yeah. we uh, had oh, a chance to kind of create kind of make it like Donkey also Kong. the way the, the camera's the moving. It's making me woozy. Some supporting characters. I think that's the point. Uh, foremost among those. I think that's Kong, what they wanted you to Kong feel sick. He's a cool little dude who follows Kong around, tries to be just like him. It's really weird to listen to them describe like Diddy Kong's new concept. I was thinking about that. Yeah, it's like who's Diddy? Yeah, so just this little dude, like, you know, just very beings, generic, and, like, vague descriptions. Yeah. As we it makes you are, wonder, they anything. hit off, yeah, hit it off with Diddy, but why did Kitty Kong ever stick? Oh, you didn't play Donkey Kong. You don't even know Kitty Kitty Kong is the, uh, it's like the baby Kong in the third game. You don't play as Diddy or Donkey. He's got his little buddy back, but he needs his bananas. The Kong So we get the Gremlins, we get Diddy, and we get the big fella. Tony, did you have a favorite uh, character? Are there more characters in this? Ah, there's a lot of characters. I like the whole Kong family. They got oh, Cranky. Okay. Cranky is the star of the original uh, Donkey Kong. That's, that was neat that they did that. Dad, Cranky Grandma being from the original game. game. Oh, is that the case? Is he the Donkey Kong, Kong and the OG? Yeah, he's the Donkey Kong. He's the Donkey Kong. Yeah, he was ah. the Funky, Funky Kong. Who, who would forget Funky, Funky Kong? Funky Flights allow you to fly around in different parts Ooh. of the game. We Whoa, also dude. got Candy Kong. Candy oh, that's the prostitute. Candy makes me feel a little something. I mean, they named her candy. So Maybe I could like uh, that. Yeah. take a look at the game. Yeah. Sure. No, right sorry, right we, we can't do that. No. These guys are so easy. 
This is our mod. Okay. And this is Rich. Okay. Hey guys. Oh. Whoa, now these are some testers. For yeah. Do you think they always reclined when they play? Country, and these guys have to play each area probably 100, 200 times each. We not all the bugs. This is a prototype. Bro, I can't see what's going on. on this yeah, I don't. Beach, which makes it a There's not a filter. That and, you know, it's like 90s crispy TV. Uh, 32 yeah. megs as well as uh, a variety of action. <laughs> shaky and, uh, camera. I cannot. Why? Snow Why? Level, jungle levels. The pyramid type levels. Pyramid levels. That's how you know it. It's edgy. Forest levels. Teenage forest edgy level. stuff. Underground factories. Underground levels. Crystal levels. That you wouldn't expect to find on they yeah, fight the Ewoks. We've got a bunch of guys that call it goodies. These guys help you out. We got Ramby, who's a rhinoceros. I like Ramby. Through some walls, helps you find some hidden areas. We Where's got the ostrich? Winky the frog. He's I like the frog. He can jump on Wait, top was of the spider ostrich. with the shoes in this yeah, game? I think express, he. So I don't think he was. Well, that ostrich's got shoes. The spider has a bunch of shoes. Screen. We have a lot of other special I guess she's not in this game. As well. in the snow level, we have 12 different layers of snow going back and forth. That is a lot of we snow. I remember there being a lot. YouTube compression doesn't like all that snow. Hmm. How did this project get started? Is it my friends at Rare? Rare has been working with Nintendo for a number of years. Oh, this isn't Rare. This is the Nintendo Treehouse. The head person there. Was me about I was thinking about, I, I'd hate to work at Rare and see these scoopers come in, but these are Nintendo people. Oh, okay. I thought we were actually at. Oh, I, I, I thought we were actually at the rear. Or like, yeah. I mean, I did say Nintendo in the beginning. I guess that's on us. Not really. Oops. Rare guys got off easy with this guy. They didn't. They didn't even talk on the phone. I, I can't even understand what the rare guy was saying. Diddy and Donkey. Uh, I mean, like Diddy Kong and Donkey Kong are brown. Those, those are relatively Look at that. Black. Three-dimensional model. model. Three-dimensional. So, uh, what do we got to eat here? So today we got the cream of banana soup, the banana and peanut butter sandwich. Please hold laughter. Hey, well, your name really is badass. George. Uh, but who is that? From Silicon Graphics. It's George. I was wondering if you could help me out a little bit in explaining the game. Sure. It's uh, it's it's a really cool game. It was created on this thing called the Challenge, which is this really advanced supercomputer. Basically, picture 20 supercomputers in a box. Now, this stuff is really cool. Am I gonna have to buy... I, I love they made this game on a supercomputer? Uh, well, uh, yeah, you're you telling me this is... On the challenge, this game is made to run on a supercomputer, but I can play it on my Super Nintendo? So it basically I don't gotta buy anything super else? The, system, the Super but, Nintendo how do we make is a supercomputer. The roundness, the 3D. Actually, it was created it's on, the, on the challenge. First and it's fascinating how they like spin this. It's like the power of supercomputers. And then you actually texture map them. For, you can even try but it's still like map interpolate. it's just that bright. A at the end. I think uh, it's beautiful uh, marketing. Yeah, that's it's advanced work. computer modeling. Basically, what you can do advanced is computer it model. lets you create fully realistic, fully rendered 3D. Fully graphics. realistic. So this is. is <laughs> Look at this. Oh yeah. <laughs> Same computers I think that's <laughs> Terminator 2, Jurassic Park. Yeah, it's Terminator. Like Donkey Kong Country is like Terminator 2. Year and a half later, we're closing. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people back then probably didn't differentiate between like the kind of special effects work that goes into movies day, and video games being like starting <laughs> to become to more similar. They get paid. Yeah. This is Henry. Henry, say hello. Hey, what's up? Whoa. Henry, oh, look at that. Man, this guy looks like a real bro. Where's his gold chain? Yeah, good. I bet he's really good at Donkey Kong Country. I bet he knows how to get the balloon. Oh, I didn't get the balloon. Oh, no. He's trapped. Let Diddy out. Let Diddy out. Donkey Kong will just cruise straight through the first part of the stage. You know, I wonder. No. A lot of like nice, like little secrets like that. It's you know, with the internet being as it is now, it's so hard to hide stuff like they used to back then. And everybody just found stuff like through word of mouth or magazines. Yeah, there was. Yeah, I played. I played this game. Not when I was younger. More recently. And there's a lot of like, not necessarily secrets, but like little tricks in the first level where it's like, if you jump across treetops, you'll get a balloon, a bunch of balloons, free men. Remember when they called lives free men? That might be before our time, actually. I've never heard that. I've heard people talk about that. I've never heard someone actually use it. That's so weird. Uh oh, debug information. And use this really slow vulture. It looks peculiar. Peculiar enough to get us into a bonus level. Ah. Bonus. Debug info. I must say this is one See? of over a like, hundred bonus levels. Every, no nobody would levels. actually like Ava oh, wow. in every game. Absolutely. But like I feel like nobody would know to do that. Yeah. That this Some kid just like sets his controller down and goes to dinner. Uh yeah, the far right. 
Oh, you're very good. Oh, you're very good. Whoa. Okay, the second uh, tip I'm gonna show you, it involves our little friend Diddy. Music is funky. Diddy. Yeah, Diddy's the cool guy. You know, I love how they have like yeah, the bananas coming out of the <laughs> printer. Rope, I didn't notice that. Over. Jump right on I got top nose. of that little stump over there. Pick up the TNT. Walk over to this oil can. Blow it up. Fall right into another bonus level. Now what you want to do in this bonus level Keep is info. jump out of this. I really want to see these bananas. And okay. grab the balloon. So we have some pointers now. I'm not gonna be able to see Good it. thing you came with us. Oh, well, if it shows the the lad down there sitting down. You're not gonna okay. learn just anywhere else. You it's, gonna gonna it's, it's, it's not going to. Yeah. No. Nope. Oh yeah, more of this. Bananas out I'm glad that they make that really short. That would be Video really game music should draw you into the game. In Donkey Kong Country, we had when, What was this aired on? This is like done. longer than we a commercial. This is like a tape that they done. shipped out. This music, it's like for Nintendo example, Power. Is very upbeat. Oh, it's with a jungle. It's okay. an early level. The level's not very I hard. I did that a lot. I guess we'll see some more of that okay, later, perhaps. That but I guess that was an old now, thing you don't see a lot of nowadays. Tapes being shipped out. It's like a weird expense. Nowadays, trailers are just posted on YouTube. Because the music is so good, we're putting this music on a CD. Yeah, but uh, I, I wonder if it was like a special edition yet. I don't know. Maybe it wasn't widely available. Oh, he's, he's getting down. Man, this guy is struggling to talk to the dude who's just dancing. <laughs> Bro, can you stop? I'm just trying to. Stop. That is a lot. So. What are what are they? What are the big blue blue? Buffs? The reason why I like them is because for one, they're big, they're blue, and they're like they're 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 and they Yeah, like they're really just searching to find something to talk about here. I don't like it because they're big, blue, and buff. Whoa. They unroll and they start walking towards you. It's so cool. Yeah. That actually is kind of cool. So yeah, that stage was neat. Well, that's a cool animal, buddy. Man, I really uh did not know this game had so many levels to it. Yeah, there's a, a lot of environments. Minecart was a favorite stage. That's your favorite stage. Minecart? Has anyone said that? I don't think anyone said that before. Run the tracks. A lot of them are broken. I wonder where they got these people at too. We just found them on the. Uh, I, I was gonna say I found them like high much. school. Once these kids look. Yeah, these like, people look old. Wait, it, that's know, the guy from before. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the pro gamer. Okay, so these are probably the test team bomb. Okay, so these are the testers that I'm assuming. Just a picture of a claptrap in the back. I already got mine. I'm, I'm actually like looking at it like he looks like he's in a college dorm. Just got pictures of Donkey Kong Country. Not on 32 creatures. bit. Oh Not god. 32? Oh my gosh, 32. Not on CD, dude. What was it? 32X. Not on Sega, Sega stuff. Oh, god. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was bizarre. This whole like bit obsession. I mean, yeah, because I mean, you really were like literally doubling the processing power of your consoles basically every generation. I don't know what year this came out, and like, because they're talking about the 32X and stuff, got me thinking about like when the PS1 came out. I don't quite know what year this did. It might be completely off. Is there more? Play it loud. That was a big thing they had going on. 1994 was when this game came out. Okay. Brought to you by Nintendo Power. Okay. So they just shipped it out with Nintendo Power. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like, uh, at the end, and PlayStation 1 released in here. Uh, oh. December 1994. Hey, so. They got in here. Can I oh, Killer Instinct. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's cool. Oh, right. I see. So that's how they were teasing. Like, wow. That's really cool. See, it's just like, it, compare this to, like, uh,. Something like a Nintendo Direct, you know? Everything seems so, like, not that it's, like, bad or not that it's not fun, but it just seems so official and kind of cold compared to this. Yeah, it's, you know, like, I enjoy watching Directs, but at some point, you know, this is, I, I get what you mean. It's, like, it feels like these Directs are timeless, where this, it's, like, very much of its era, and you kind of, like, by watching these, we get, like, a... A view into the past you know you get to see people's outfits and how they talk and what they value in games like all this bit discussion that whole weird thing about like not on sega not on 32x like it's it's lovely, I mean, it's lovely. 
I don't know. And also, I feel like, and I mean, we don't really know, but today, you know, you have consecutive releases on like PlayStation, Xbox, PC, blah blah blah. But back then, you know, it's like you had all, all video games were specific to either a Nintendo, either at like everything was an exclusive, and I, I feel like PC gaming wasn't really much of a topic of discussion when people talked about video games. You know, they just talked about Sega and Nintendo. Yeah, and that's a good point, thinking about, like, how games were really built into the system. It's like, I'm trying to think of an example. It's like Final Fantasy. I think that was kind of a Nintendo thing, but I don't think they really had, like, any deals. And then the PlayStation came around, and it was like, oh, now this is a Sony thing. Yeah, I think that actually came, to, I think, as far as Final Fantasy is concerned, I think it came down to hardware. Oh god, I can't imagine uh, the Final Fantasy VII on the Nintendo 64. Yeah, I, I think it came down to the cartridge limitations. And I know that, that there was a lot of deals and and of the such that kind of fell apart because of Nintendo's very um, unwillingness to <laughs> change and go to the CD-ROM. Oh, don't I know that. I guess to go back to the like pre-rendered stuff, that's like... That's what Donkey Kong Country is remembered for, and you don't really see a lot of, like, pre-rendered stuff nowadays. Like, it's in some indie games for, like, uh, like, point and clicks, or there's one, I guess kind of like full motion video is kind of a similar thing. It's like these, like, specific indie games going for it, but, like, pre-rendered became less of a thing once you were able to actually render, like, a Donkey Kong. You didn't need to do it on a super powerful workstation. You could just do it on a work computer. Yeah, and I mean, I I, th I think that's exactly why we don't see that kind of stuff anymore. It's just because we're a lot more technologically advanced now, and we don't really yeah. need to. But so, but I mean, it would be really interesting, and there's probably a bunch of indie games out there, like you were saying, that make that more of a stylistic choice than a, a need to be. I mean, a lot of what video games programmers did back in these days was work with the limitations and a lot of creativity with games was not out of you know like stories and characters and stuff but like stuff that they came up with because they had to like work around limitations of the hardware yeah um i was doing a script at one point and or maybe no i did get this out it was about it was about like game like genres that kind of fall out as time goes on and on rails shooter that's one we don't see a lot of anymore and one we might see of later in this video so we'll we'll just go on to the next tape and see what's going on there that's a funky beat mm -hmm. kind of reminds me of the one of the first naruto intros <laughs> Not a Naruto fan, so I'll take your word for it. Yeah. Naruto fans will know what I'm talking about. Yeah, all my Naruto. All my Naruto in homies out. Yeah, <laughs> all the audience out there. 64. Change the system. Oh my gosh, look yeah. at all this. Look at all these fonts. See, now this is 3D. We were talking about yeah. Donkey Kong before, pre rendered? Nah, fam. We got Polygon. I mean, this is a huge leap, though. Yeah. It's, it's it's hard for me to go back and appreciate the Nintendo 64, but I, I can realize like like this is important stuff. Polygons are where it's at. I mean, it was really just the wild west of uh, like 3D platformers and figuring out what a video camera needed to do in 3D space. Oh Lord, video game camera. Oh on. man, what is, is that this? the Nintendo 64? Is What's that David? Mr. 64 himself? That's quick finger. <laughs> Martial arts and sports master. I don't have any titles uh, like that. Who's this? Yeah. Extended, Extended play. play. Man, I need to get a cool nickname. I like the like Matrix computer text here with the oh game fix <laughs> unbeatable. They're all coming out of it like a <laughs> like a clown car, you know. I was thinking that. Oh, look at that Mario. Why does he look so weird? That's some bad audio. Also, what kind of, like, secretary desk is this? Oh, there's a lot of Dutch angles. Whoa! Star Wars! The power of 
projector? The power. This sounds very similar to the English guy who uh, in, is always translating in uh, Nintendo Directs. <laughs> Same guy, probably. probably. I wonder. Whoa, anti-aliasing. That's what gamers love. Oh, I, I cannot believe that they said that on this. <laughs> yeah, that's a weird, like... Nobody would know what that means. Yeah. I guess that's what they're going for. Z-button. Z-button. Button. Don't forget the Z button. That's not too early footage of Mario 64. Greetings, gentlemen. Are they in like oh. interrogation room? Is he swatting at the cameras? Yeah. Oh, oh okay. What's going on? Hey guys, how you doing? Why why are they? So, I understand you're here to what? find out about the Nintendo 64. I understand you're here to find out about drugs. Let me show you. World's first. Is that true? But I think it's easier for me to explain that as I show you the game. Yeah. I don't know. Let me jump into the game. I don't have enough historical knowledge you know, to dispute that. Okay, let's put ourselves in the mind of a game. He's, he's got 120 stars already. Yeah, what the heck? You already beat it. Imagine having to explain the analog stick. <laughs> I mean, this was this was the first analog stick, really. Oh, well, not really, because you had the Analog movie. PlayStation right. 1, I guess, two years before the N64. Does the Atari 2600 count? <laughs> oh, what can Mario do? Whoa. The kid was really into it. Whoa. Why is he playing across like five TVs? <laughs> Do you see him climb? This is like a Tim and Eric skit, almost. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why is there a swimming sound when he's not swimming? Yeah, it did start a little too early there. Well, they tried, that's all that matters. Oop. But I mean, I can understand, like, going from SNES, being a Nintendo family, seeing something like this, and just being absolutely gobsmacked. Like, it's like you're playing a Mario movie. Oh yeah, I want to. What is he gonna say about the controller? Well, was that Mario? I think that was Mario. Yeah, that was a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrong picture. Whoa! How'd you do that? <laughs> oh, I see. I didn't even notice the painting in the back. This level's kind of cool because there's actually there's swimming levels in the game. There's snow levels. There's other stuff. This level actually. Swimming levels, not water levels, but swimming levels. Swimming pools. Or hangs out in a swimming pool. That's awesome. That's awesome. But yeah, they cut off that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of digging the music. They really like that slide level in uh, Snowman's Land. That sounded like the yeah, DS kind of startup the sound. Flying. Like, I feel like people would be more impressed with the flying. Flying sucks in that game. I don't care what anyone says. Oh no. He's too scary. I was just never like really crazy about, but you know, I I didn't have Mario sixty four as a kid. Yeah. I had a uh, like Paper Mario was what I was obsessed with. So uh, it wasn't until like uh, much much later in my life that I actually picked this up. Uh, then after playing something like Sunshine or any of the other later yeah. Mario platformers, it's it's just a little harder. Yeah, I grew up with GameCube stuff. I did play sixty four yeah. a little bit, but. I just have such a hard time going back to 64 with like, I guess I just think about Mario 64. It's like the camera's awful. He doesn't, Mar yeah. Mario just doesn't quite do what I want him to all the time. I don't know. Yeah, Mar though I, I can understand like why this holds such a close place in people's hearts, you know? Uh, but for me, I had like the Star Wars Pod Racer and the- uh... I heard that was good. Oh, oh whoa. <laughs> Get some pilot wings action. I think the latest pilot, pilot wings, wings game was like on 3DS. I've not, I've not heard of this game. I think it was on the Super Nintendo. And they did a 64 version. Really Plays video games for a living. Wow. 
gyrocopters. Woohoo Island. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Is this is this the initial inspiration for uh, like Woohoo Island and the Wii Sports Resort stuff? Well, Woohoo Island was from Pilot Wings. Oh, are you serious? Yeah. I thought Woohoo Island was the Wii Resort Island. Well, I mean, I think they just kind of brought it to that. Oh. Kind of a reference or something. Oh, okay. Well, that's what I was saying as I wondered if that was the case. So if that is, yeah. that's pretty cool. I did not know. Yo, this is unreal. See, I don't know if, if you wanted to show cool, like, stuff like this, why not show, like, Star Wars <laughs> Squadron? You know? I guess we'll see some Star Wars later. There was it looked like there was some... Now, this is an intense gameplay. Oh, yeah. That's kind of peaceful, though. I like it. Yeah. It kind of goes against the vibe they were doing earlier. We were like, whoa! Whoa, at the screen. we're flying. Whoa, <laughs> speed okay. Photo okay. Oh, wow, yeah. Okay. Ah! <laughs> oh, my God. These kids are psychopaths. Yeah. I feel it's like maybe man. they're just, like, holding a, a gun to their heads. Like, you better <laughs> fucking laugh. This better be cool to you. Oh my gosh. What is oh, going on? Destroying Remount Rushmore. Is this, is this game edgy? Like, you get explosive things. Wow. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I like don't how they put more. Uh, don't hit Mario. Don't hit Mario. No. Hey, that's a person? I wonder if you can uh, shoot into the secret room in the back of Mount Rushmore. Maybe. This is cool. Boing. Kind of reminds me of that Hulk game. It plays the Hulk in the city. Oh, she's not the Hulk. <laughs> See, stuff like stuff like this really reminds me of like PlayStation One games, yeah. where they were jumping around. It's kind of like a lot of the open world type stuff in this. Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. He also plays games for a living. Oh, okay. I can do more than just I'd that. hope so. Mischaracterizing, uh... Yeah, maybe a little bit. Yes. Uh, I love this game. Oh, this looks... What's that camera like? There he is! Oh my god, I shot <laughs> That looks rough. Walker guys. That's the uh, official so, name. This might, I think this might be a different... I think they need to change the name at the bottom. They're, they're called Walker guys. Oh, uh, yeah. Not... Well, I'm a little confused. This isn't the this game. This might be a different game than... Yeah, I thought this was uh, Rogue Squadron. That's the game I was talking about. But I don't uh, remember you ever being able to like get up, like do anything other than be in a spaceship. I don't know if they said the name for this yet. I don't think they have. Ooh, oh. <laughs> Why isn't he doing the thing? Because he's bad and he's going to explode. There we go. There you go. Can we, can we, can we do that again with a little did more just, energy? No, did no. you just call that a tow hitch? Yeah. Love that part. Love that part. I wonder... Or, yeah, I got a lot of questions about this. This is very interesting. Real 3D. Not fake 3D. This ain't no Doom. This is Quake. Well, this isn't Quake. That Millennium Falcon looked really small. Ugh. Can't see anywhere. Yeah, there's a bunch of fog. But... Ice monsters? Oh. I thought it said big ass monsters. <laughs> Okay, so he said the proper name for that. I think there's strobe light in the room. You can watch the guy from a third person view, or you can actually watch the guy. Here I have to destroy all these TIE fighters. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew. Here are just as good as the other level. Bro. I love that part. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you can casually mention stuff like Star Destroyers without uh, the intense copyright that I feel like <laughs> a lot of... People have to be afraid Got of the nowadays. the walker guys and the floater guys and the space yeah. guys. Speedy Leaky guys. boys. <laughs> this, looks, this looks rough. Other parts looked yeah. okay, but... Yeah, I want to know what the end this is. Maybe they will say the name, hopefully. 
try and bump them and stop them from getting to leap. Looks like you're, looks like you're hitting stuff. Like That's too fast. It's, it's pretty overwhelming at first when you're inside the narrow uh, confined It does kind of look fun. You get out later on and you actually get out onto the desert and you go over the Sarlacc <laughs> pit and you have to do the jump. Oh, the Sarlacc pit? Who's that at the top left? Man. I can... Obi-Wan Kenobi? I don't know. Oh, wow. Is this, is this a tie-in for the new Obi-Wan Kenobi show? Oh my god. Yeah, it just came out like <laughs> you know, 20 or so years early. Oh. Uh. No troopers are like a top tier stormtrooper design. Whoa, those are three great games. We've only scraped the surface. What? What? There's more? There's more? Wow! Da -da 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 -da. Oh my gosh, Kirby Air Ride! What? What the fuck? This was a Nintendo 64 game. What? I forgot about that. <laughs> what? I had no idea. I love a uh, Kirby Air Ride. That was like really one of the games Dude, I loved same. as a kid. I played that so much. Yeah, I, heard, I completely. And just looking that. at that early, that's that, insane. Look at gold mine. Wow. That looks weird. See now this. This is what you want to see. Yeah, this looks like an on the rail shooter. It was supposed to be an on rail shooter at first. Yeah. Golden Eye was. Wave Race looks weird. Mario Kart R. Mario Kart R. The well known Mario Kart. Super Mario Kart R. Blast Core. I've never even heard of this game. Nope. It's a rare game. Star Fox. The logo oh, looks weird yeah. there. Those HUD elements. Those are bizarre. Yeah, what? Ooh. Also, the, yeah, like almost everything about the first level is different other than the spaceship. More than 50 games. They're throwing the genres at. Oh, yeah. What, why did you have to do that? Wow. Oh, just let me do it. You know the system. You know what to do. You don't want to What do I do? Fucking buy it. Buy your stuff. Buy it buy now. The game. Buy the game. Change the, Change system. the system. Change your Nintendo. Your Super Nintendo. Change the system. Change your life. Sorry, am I gonna, am I gonna get some content, eight, content IDs on this? I hope not. Oops. Wow. Man, that that's crazy. Good. Single cell orchestra. That's a lot of music. I guess I kind of zoned out. So <laughs> another Nintendo Power joint. So what is there to say about that? I mean. What, what what more to say other than I want to see Kirby's Air Ride on the Nintendo 64? Yeah, I want to I want to play the N64 Kirby Air Ride. Yeah, I wanna, like that's. Uh, I'm only the only I one know. I was really familiar with was um, Super Mario 64. I'm wondering if the other games were like really early in development, like Pilot. Yeah, Wings. that Star Wars game I really because they put a lot of in depth into it, but I won't, I don't remember there yeah. ever being a Star Wars game. That, I mean, maybe it's just something I'm not aware of. But, uh, yeah, I, mean, like, I feel like there were a lot of Star Wars games out around the time. Especially with the Phantom Menace. I think that might have been around that time. I don't know if that was later. Pod Racer game is definitely on there. Okay, so it looks like the game that they were playing was Star Wars Shadow of the Empire. Oh, I've heard of that. Heard of that. No. I've heard of it. Um, so it's, pretty, it. it's pretty interesting to see that they were willing to show such early... Uh, footage of games like Kirby Air Ride and yeah. GoldenEye still being an on-the-rail shooter and that kind of stuff. Um, you know, uh, it seems that a lot of game studios nowadays won't show a lot of footage like that until basically they're almost done with the game. Um, and maybe that's because people heavily criticize that kind of stuff and, you know, people just take apart every little aspect they can of any trailers or gameplay footage that's least and if it's not exactly like that or better when yeah. new games come out it's it's not good enough yeah let's get that a lot with like uh cyberpunk maybe you know that was shown i was surprised to learn that that was shown off before the witcher 3 even came out and that was in like 2012 i think that's like and a lot of stuff like that, like uh, Elder Scrolls 6, that was shown off, and it's like not even going to be finished until Starfield's done. And yeah, I feel like that's. I think we're still kind of in that era. I guess it's, it's like a, some publishers do that, some don't. You know, I guess Bethesda's done both. You know, Fallout 4 they announced, and then it came out like a couple months later. But I guess that's just the nature of game development. You know, you're just like, 
oh, this Kirby Air Ride project's going fine, and then it just takes a weird turn. Like, oh, we're gonna... This That was shown before this Nintendo 64 came out. That was a big delay. Oh, so this was a promotional for actually... I guess so, because they were talking about buy it on this day. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. That's weird to think yeah. that it was... Maybe they just shelved it and then did the uh, crystal shards and came back to that. I wonder, they have, um, they say, like, change the system, and that's their logo. So it makes me wonder how people felt, because, you know, nowadays we, we understand, like, every four to five years we're going to get a new console generation. You know, it, it's, it's yeah. pretty standard. Everybody knows it now, but back in the day, uh, I feel it may have been harder to justify buying another $200 console for your kid. Yeah, I vaguely remember reading maybe just hearing people talk about their parents like, you already have a Nintendo. Why do you need a Super Nintendo? And then, yeah. I, I guess that kind of happened with the Genesis. You know, they tried to push all the add-ons, you know. You can keep your old Genesis, but you buy the Sega CD. Play Night Trap. Everybody wants to play Night Trap. Hey man, Sonic CD? <laughs> you can buy a 32X and play Knuckles Chaotix. And that's the best mm -hmm. game of all time. Cool boy. So... All that being said, I guess we'll move on to the last tape of a, 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 a it's a tape. That's all I can say. It's, it's, a, a, tape. it's a tape. And now your feature presentation from Nintendo. How? Have you seen this before? No. This is iconic. I hope to not pick too many things I've seen before with this, but I, I had to choose this. Has landed. I'm on him. Oh. Hey, bud. Oh, oh that's sir. Uh, hey, sure buddy. Hey, you... Oh my God. <laughs> Get him, Sega. Oh. What's this about? Quiet, bitch boy. We'll oh, bitch boy. Ah, ah. You were. Uh, to talk into that thing. Word on the street is you got a new Nintendo 64 game coming out. Could you be a little more specific? We got a lot of new games coming out. Oh yeah, they got a lot of new games. Star Fox 64. Oh. Test pilot boy. You want to know about Star Fox 64? Why are they all doing these weird I mean, accents? Better tell us all you know. Yeah. You want to know about I love Star how, uh, how cartoonish what? they would make the other uh, company seem. <laughs> oh. Plumber boy here. Get. <gasps> oh no! What are you guys doing with Mario? <laughs> Leave Mario. I'm pretty sure he'd already be dead at this point. No, he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love okay. this so much. Okay. You've made your point. Is this how corporate espionage goes? I hope. Star Fox 64 oh, is a man. highly advanced combat game. Highly advanced combat game. Whoa. The Fox oh, they're still figuring out genres. And his wingman. Oh, there he is. Peppy hair, there, there he is, there's Peppy. Toad, and Falco Lombardi. I like how only, uh, only Falco gets a cool ass name. Andros. Show off Man Slippy before Falco. I see. Yeah. System. What is that creature? Whoa. I've I never played, or I played a little bit of Star Fox 64. But I play guys drive. Yeah, some beat up B fifty two. B fifty two. You wish. In Ooh, Star Fox sixty four, there are three vehicles for missions. For air battles, you've got the R wing. Check this out. This vehicle comes with all the latest. R wings are cool. Moves. You can do barrel rolls. I can't deny it. R wings are cool. Oh turns. yeah. It can even do somersaults. And you can lock onto your enemies before Ooh. blowing them away. And for battles on land, you Man, that, that fight in the snow against uh, Wolf totally really, really made me mad as a kid. <laughs> I never played this game far enough to get to the Landmaster. Or... For water -based oh, this... really? Lord, this looks bad. The Blue I don't know. There's just a lot of really, really cool level designs in the Star Fox. I guess I'm just biased against slow underwater levels. But I guess it doesn't really matter because... It's just like you're flowing through the air, but underwater. Yeah, you kind of go the same speed. I don't think you can really speed yourself up any. Did these play okay? These kind of look weird, like going in open areas. Uh, 
kind of makes you feel eh. part of the game. Doesn't Fair enough. Although, it, it was really this, just, at least for me, I usually would go to the so edge of the map, it would turn me around, and I would just kind of go <laughs> zigzag. You guys, Sega's a big guy. You don't know the half yeah. of it. Maybe the Sony what? guy's a small guy. There's more? <laughs> yeah. More? But Bob I can't believe it. If I told you. Who? Isn't that the head of Nintendo at the time? Just head of Nintendo America? Bob I don't remember. Tell us himself. Let's find out. Guess we're gonna kidnap another person. Pizza for Who's Bob? Bob? Are you, uh, oh, there he is. Bob? Yeah, but uh, I didn't order any pizza. <laughs> I did order sleeping gas, though. <laughs> this is good pizza. They let him out? Oh, I guess. He just gets the hang Is he gonna just start interrogating Bob with them? Star Fox 64. Peter? You didn't tell him about the rumble pack, did you? No! No? The Bob. rumble pack. You just Bab. I did. <laughs> that Sony guy's pretty good. Spill it, bit boy. Bit the way boy. I say bit boy, it sounds like they call him bitch boy. Bit boy. Sony would never stoop that. No, no, don't. Do don't do it. Oh, no, what the fuck? That's fucked up. <laughs> Mario. Oh. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. All right. This is almost akin to, like, bad porn acting. Almost. Oh, wow, he, like, is not really even tied up. He just, like, lifted his arm up. Why Star Fox 64 is the coolest... Cinematic gaming experience there is. Cinematic. It's designed with a descriptor. force feedback device that lets a force feedback feel device. The game. Wait. Whoa. Whoa. You're telling me that this rumble pack actually lets this players feel pack. the game? But like you're actually in the cockpit, flying and fighting? It's impossible. I've never played with one of those. Nuh -uh. I don't know if they were good or not. Yeah. Yeah, I had one. Um, I mean. Hook it up. I guess I just wasn't impressed because, you know, like, I, I had vibration in games already. Yeah. But I remember as a kid. <laughs> I remember as a kid. Um, the rumble pack lets oh, you whoa. What is this? Like when you turbo Don't question boost it. Or you shoot a what is this, like, not smells like Teen Spirit song? Oh my gosh, you're right. I actually felt it. Oh my god, this is. <laughs> Yo, this is borderline. <laughs> borderline not okay. <laughs> Meh. What's even cooler? How'd you get a controller shot? You're like me. That's when you really feel the vibration. This is when you eat shit and die. Well, what do you say, guys? That's when you're really playing. I won't playing crash with. though. On oh man! Oh, they got four of them. That's oh, funny. Okay. They spent a lot of time thinking of that stuff. Wow! Look at that background. Was that in the final game? I was like, look, I was like, how could this run well in frame to frame rate? Then I looked at the background. <laughs> it's basically just like rectangles. Okay, there we go. It's okay, I don't want to play Star Fox 64. What? Wow. They didn't even change the uh, the cartridge. That's okay. They're still they're still playing Star Fox. Leave them be. Okay, that's more finished. Still really extensive uh, Star hey, Fox. Hey, there's job. Gone. Yoshi's Island 64. That's not what this was called. Was it? Yoshi's Story. Yeah. Mischief Maker. Okay, I think they're just making up things. Yeah, these are fake. No, I've, I've, I think I've seen that girl before. That's a fake game. Kind of reminds me of a uh, crazy taxi. I was gonna say burnout but without the taxi. Yeah, that too. Wow, it's just like the players. Just like that guy's squad is real low. Just as boring like. as real baseball. That guy not holding a bat. Okay. Oh, he just took him out. You can't do that. Oh, now this—that's some bad frame rate. Nice peaceful drive. Yeah. Doesn't really feel like you're going 60 there. 100? Yeah, that's a very, very gentle 100. <laughs> Whoa. I remember 
F Zero said you were going like a thousand miles an hour. That was really <laughs> funny. We oh, we got him. Dink. Zelda sixty four. Look at that. Oh, man. That's beautiful. Boy, are we in big trouble? Oh. <laughs> we just can't beat you guys. Sony yeah. and Sega aren't gonna make it. Well, as much as we'd love to stick around here and keep playing with you guys, we gotta go. Yeah. Gotta go back to the Nintendo Aren't lab. They... Where, where are they going? Aren't they kidnapping the people? Have you seen just this? let them out. What's that? Oh. That's a Star Fox 64 the official player's guide. Player guide. You know about the That's game. their stinger. Fire guide. You can buy hmm. it at the store. I kind of expected them to like put his finger up his nose. <laughs> they got Mario. Oh yeah, good. At starfox64.com. Thanks for the pizza. Let's go to starfox64.com. Don't go there. Look get bad things. <laughs> Why are they the crazy ones now? They played Star Fox. They made him crazy. Yeah. There is no Star Fox 64 anymore. Or sorry, starfox64.com Star anymore. Star Fox 64 has been deleted. Yeah, we deleted it forever. All <laughs> copies destroyed. I think the highlight of that was uh, seeing Zelda 64. <laughs> yeah, that's it's. They really were willing to show early games back then. That's. I think that's my favorite part about watching, like older tapes like these, is you get to see games before they came out. Like Star Fox, I got it earlier. I haven't played the game much, but it seemed like that was pretty far along, at least compared to what we saw in the first. When it was the second tape, oh, the yeah, HUD looked yeah. real messed up. It's yeah, the game is definitely was finished, but it wasn't just the HUD. It, um, like the, the stage, the little circles that you drive through in oh, the stage yeah. was snowy instead of like city like. It was almost a completely different game. It was kind of crazy. Yeah, it was. This is in 1997. I didn't see the date for the last one. 1996. So that was a year earlier. Yeah, yeah. Zelda 64. There's always some cool stuff with. Zelda beta assets, you know, you can run out of their way to make like ROM hacks that are faithful to those old versions. And that's I'm all in on that stuff. Yeah, it's really fun to look at what you see with that kind of stuff, and then going through like the game files and finding the remnants of those ideas still there. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. It Freshly. feels like you're just kind of putting together a big puzzle. I, th I think something that's fascinating about that is, you know, just the idea of, like, a skit. You don't see those. Like, the oldest, or the newest, like, skit I can think of that, like, a for a presentation was, like, the uh, Nintendo Direct Robot Chicken stuff. Do you remember that? No, I don't. There was, uh, for Nintendo's E3 some year, they had a, uh, they commissioned the people that did Robot Chicken to, like, do animations for their E3 presentation. And then, oh no, I guess after that was like the Star Fox puppets for Star Fox Zero. Remember that? Um, no, I, was... I really wasn't paying attention to too much Wii U stuff. Okay. Because uh, I got a Wii U like 2016. Okay. And it, it was to play yeah, the Zelda remakes. But um, maybe the, the only thing I can think about maybe is that it's not even really against like the other companies. It's like when... Uh, Reggie had stepped down, and the, the Bowser guy had stepped up as president of uh, U.S. Nintendo, and, you know, since his name was Bowser, they had all oh, this stuff. Yeah. But, you know, I, I don't really see a whole lot of companies mischaracter- like, you know, having a Sony character or a yeah. Sega character, like, there, and making them out to be these, like, cartoonishly dumb bad guys. Uh... So I don't know. Maybe there's, maybe there's different rules. Maybe pe people just feel differently about that kind of stuff now. I guess it's just kind of like falling out of favor because you see a lot of like friendly banter, especially between like Nintendo and Microsoft, and even with Sony. You know, I've seen when like some of their executives step down, the other brands will tweet out like, "Glad we could have you guys in the industry." Like uh, when Reggie stepped down, I think Phil Spencer made a tweet about it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe you just people respect each other a lot more. Uh, yeah, and that too, and just yeah, the what it takes to make 
a video game now compared to back then. It's just so much more. It requires so much more time and people yeah. that uh, maybe maybe they just feel like it's it's not appropriate to make short of that kind of effort anymore. Maybe. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're out of the attitude era as well. People are in yeah. the. Maybe they're afraid of like uh, if a joke doesn't land right. You know, you, you have to be very careful and to consider how people are going to take a joke nowadays. Because if not, then you know that's going to really. If, really if you don't do it in the right now. way, like if you don't, like if Nintendo put out an ad making fun of, I guess they're not really competing necessarily. But if like Sony put out an ad against Microsoft, you know, you'd have to do it just the right way, or else you risk, you know, making even Sony. Fa oh wait, there was another. What was it? The um. During one of Xbox's E3s, this was like when Xbox One was coming out with the uh, always online stuff, and then Sony made a video how to share your games with your friends, and it was basically just this, uh, <laughs> handing your disc to your friend. That was like a, a playful thing, where yeah, but I mean, you know, because of that backlash, they uh, they ended up rolling back on that. Yeah, it was. I, I guess that's the only it's accountability in a way when you can you know call out other companies on the stuff they do well that i feel like the the feedback for video games is a lot more immediate now you know uh they they made a game and they put it out and like you know the sales would come in and that's when they would know but like you got people that get early day copies and then they're streaming it no oh, wow. uh you know just, just stuff like that so yeah yeah uh, well, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. Do you have anything else to say? Okay, well that that's. Works. This is uh, this is the end of the video. Um, I don't, I don't have any closing words. Other than goodbye.